to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing some exercise in a Navi's work. <coughs> How to do the clash detection in a Navi's work. That is what I am trying to show up over here. So if you go to the view tab from the Navi's uh, home tab from the Navi's work, you will be get the class class detection from here, detective from here. So here already will have that one. So we linked uh, our models over uh, here. You can get from the selection trees from here. And uh, what are the things is linked? So you will be get from here. For example, architectural, mechanical, electrical, spindler, and structural. So what I am doing? So we need to do the class detection first okay for that we just need to add a test over here so you will be cut uh, like this window first then you go to right side you can get the um, this this kind of window you will be get from here you can add the text also so the first text i am giving like a mechanical with the electrical so you can just uh, type like this electrical so one test I, I given the name like this and if you can uh, stretch the uh, like this so it was set over here and another test I need to add it also another test for the uh, mechanical system with the uh, means means the duct with uh, some other system so I am just putting this one duct um, duct with uh, sorry to with the sprinkler okay so like that i just uh, made a two and even if if you can make it more things like the textures like uh, uh, what i'm saying like a mechanical um duct with the electrical duct with electrical electrical like that you can ma make a lot of things okay the first one we need to make a mechanical with electrical for that we just need to select uh, the uh, first you need to go the rule and uh, we can choose the uh, items from here so whichever you need you can uh, choose it from here so here is the items in the same layer it's a cat purpose things okay so uh, items in the same file i'm just choose it select then select those one result you will be get from here and you can uh, thing is select the items and everything from uh, from this this one you can change the color for that things use uh, uh, different colors you can do, do. If, if you need to hide this one so you just to hide you can hide it from here and uh, if you need to uh, dim color so you can choose as a dim also like this okay then what do we need to do we just need to start with this one so for example we just need to select this one for mechanical with electrical so just to select this mechanical and uh, this is a section a and here here you can give this one around um, we can say like uh, um, no sorry um, just uh, we can say here the tolerance we can see like a uh, 0.1 okay so just say like a uh, 0.1 okay just keep it like that and go here and select the mechanical from a and uh, select electrical from b and then just click the run a test run test okay so what will happen that uh, that will come up over here so what are the clashes is coming so you can get it from here result you can see the results from here okay so what what it will it will not show anything like this so, so we will just change the uh, tolerance just uh, we'll say like uh, 001 run test uh we just need to because there will be uh, no clashes so we will just need to select again okay mechanical um duct okay so select the duct so for example i am just going the first floor with this duct and the here i just need to go here mechanical first floor with the spindler pipe pipe and five fittings okay just i'm just uh, giving this one okay just uh, run otherwise you can just uh, go here uh, you can expand this one under spindler uh, spindler system you can choose it okay just select that one uh, we just need to select the mechanical and just run it so now you can see the clash it is coming up over here you can uh, you can see that there will be a lot of clashes you can see from here and if you go the next one so you can uh, the, the, the the this will be shown up over here okay so uh, the, the clash will be show up over here like this 
so then then you you, you just need to uh, see the, there will be a clash with the pipe and uh, duct okay so that clash we need to solve it from the from our from our rivet okay so just to go to the next one so it was same clash and if we go there to the another clash so you can see another kind of uh, uh, clashes you can get it from here like this so these clashes we need to solve it in the rivet okay so you can export the things also like uh, if you if you export the uh, reports like this you can check the all the items and uh, write a report so just write a report and we just need to save it somewhere in uh, in our desktop or somewhere so you can uh, save the report save it so that was uh, saving over there so that kind of, uh, that that will exporting what are the clashes is over there so that will export exporting now and we can open that one also from our uh, where are you saving so you can open from that so if you go here and uh, select from here rules result then you can see all the clashes uh, wherever it is it is coming uh, and and even even you can just, just uh, I will, i'll open the file uh, so you will be get a report like this so uh, i will i'll show you how how we'll get the report like this you can take the reports and everything so all the um email like uh, wherever it's getting clash and uh, all the things you will be get okay so you can get the element id and you will open the rivet file and you can search the element id like this and you and you can solve the issues okay once you done that one if you if you uh, the solve the issues okay so then then you can put over here it was like a, a new or like approved something like that you can make it okay so the that will be changed over here okay so just uh, select from here shift control and just uh, you can select like that if you approve that one okay re reviewed or approved you can give that one so like that we can make the uh, 